For the past half a century, an ancient army of warriors has been quietly conquering the world. Wherever small battalions of China's famous terracotta warriors are exhibited, they win over a new legion of fans. I work in this side for many years. These warriors are all life-sized, like real soldiers. What if I told you AI now uncovers centuries-old secrets? Sounds fictional, right? But it's reality. For over 2,000 years, the silent warriors buried in Elevenin have stood guard, captivating archaeologists and historians. However, in recent weeks, advanced AI scans have pierced the surface, exposing details that no excavation had revealed. What the algorithms found left experts, critics, and scientists worldwide stunned. With these revelations in mind, we must ask, might this new development rewrite what we thought we knew about China's first emperor and his army? Before we get to the answers, let's start by exploring what exactly the AI saw that has left experts speechless. The Terracotta Army. Before we delve into what AI has uncovered, let's understand what the Terracotta Army truly is and why it continues to captivate the world. Picture this. It's 1974, a group of farmers in Lebanon, China, digging a simple well. They expected water, but instead, their shovel struck something that would shock the entire archaeological world. Rising out of the soil were fragments of life-sized clay figures, pieces of armor, and even broken weapons. What they had stumbled upon wasn't just pottery. It was the gateway to one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of the 20th century, the Terracotta Army. And today, decades later, these warriors have just been scanned by AI, leaving experts speechless. Now, let's rewind 2,000 years to see why this hidden army even existed in the first place. In the 3rd century BCE, China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, was determined to rule not just the living but also the afterlife. He unified warring states, built the first version of the Great Wall, and commanded an empire that stretched farther than anything China had seen before. But even with that kind of power, he feared death. He ordered the creation of an underground army, an army not of flesh and blood, but of clay, just as a preparation. Imagine that! And that's not all, those thousands of warriors, each sculpted with its own unique touch, were buried near his massive tomb. And their purpose was clear, to protect him for eternity. But what's remarkable is not just their scale but their detail. I'm talking about soldiers standing nearly six feet tall, with real bronze weapons, hairstyles, facial features, and even traces of vibrant paint that once made them appear lifelike. This wasn't a small ensemble. Archaeologists estimate that around 8,000 soldiers, along with hundreds of chariots and horses, were placed in massive pits, standing in strict military formation. Each warrior feels less like a statue and more like a person frozen in time, staring silently across centuries. Sounds like a waste of archaeological gold if you ask me. Since that first accidental discovery, the excavation has revealed generals, archers, cavalrymen, and even life-sized chariots with intricate designs. Recently, archaeologists uncovered a rare figure of a general, marked by his elaborate armor and commanding pose, which added another layer to our understanding of Qin Shi Huang's vision. These finds remind us that this was not just a symbolic gesture. This was a meticulously planned military blueprint, recreated underground as though the emperor truly believed he could march into the afterlife with his empire intact. But for all we've uncovered, mysteries remain. Why such detail in every single figure? Was it pure intimidation, a message to his enemies, or perhaps a deeper spiritual belief that every soldier's individuality mattered in the afterlife? The truth is, despite half a century of study, we still don't know the full story. And maybe that's what keeps the Terracotta Army so fascinating. Every discovery answers one question but leaves us with ten more. So what do you think the true purpose of this clay army was? Was it an emperor's obsession with power, or was there something more symbolic, something we're still struggling to grasp? How AI scanned the Terracotta Army in 2025?
To understand just how shocking this breakthrough was, we need to start picturing the scenario. Imagine standing inside one of those excavation pits in Elevenin, surrounded by rows of silent clay warriors frozen in time. Come to think of it, it sounds like a historical marvel, a sight I'd love to see. For decades, archaeologists have carefully searched around the area, measuring, cataloging, and preserving what they could. However, human hands and eyes have limitations. And they just couldn't reach the details that were buried beneath centuries of damage and dust. Until now, that is. With a digital toolkit ready to debug everything we believed we knew about these ancient soldiers, excavators recently turned to artificial intelligence. What actually occurred, then? The scans began with ultra-precise 3D imaging devices developed by companies like Artec. These portable scanners captured every detail of a warrior's face, armor, and weapon using structured light and laser technology. We're talking accuracy down to fractions of a millimeter, which means nothing, no crack, no trace of pigment, no subtle groove, escape detection. Once the raw data was captured, AI took over. This wasn't just about stitching images together like a giant puzzle. The AI systems applied knowledge visualization, a form of deep learning that can detect hidden patterns in massive datasets. Think of it as giving the terracotta army a full-body MRI and then asking a super-intelligent machine to interpret the results. Here's where it gets wild. In earlier decades, archaeologists had already tried digital preservation. Back in the 2000s and even into the 2010s, they used photogrammetry and early 3D scans to build rough digital replicas. Those were useful, sure, but they were limited. They showed us shapes, not stories. In 2025, AI changed that equation. Suddenly, the scans didn't just preserve, they interpreted the data. Algorithms compared thousands of warriors at once, spotting minute differences between their armor plates, hairstyles, and even facial bone structures. Patterns that no human could ever have noticed suddenly lit up on researchers' screens. One of the most jaw-dropping breakthroughs came from analyzing pigments. Most of us view the terracotta army today as gray statues, stripped of color by centuries of exposure underground. However, the scans revealed faint chemical residues that were invisible to the naked eye. With hyperspectral imaging and AI reconstruction, researchers recreated flashes of the warrior's original paintwork, the reds, greens, and purples that once made them appear almost alive. Imagine walking into that pit over 2,000 years ago and seeing not a ghostly gray army but a vibrant force, each soldier painted in striking colors, ready to march into eternity. And the surprises didn't stop there. The AI analysis identified additional inconsistencies in the clay composition. What did that mean? According to the experts, the warriors may have been produced in separate workshops, much like assembly lines, but with artisans leaving their unique signatures in the details. A fingerprint here, a subtle style difference there. It was like uncovering the identity of craftsmen who had remained anonymous for millennia. But here's the part that really stunned experts. The scans revealed microscopic wear on certain bronze weapons, indicating that some of them may have been used before burial. That raised new questions. Were these weapons repurposed from real military campaigns? Or were they intentionally tested to prove their effectiveness before being entombed? The AI didn't just confirm history, it challenged it. Think about that for a second. For nearly 50 years, scholars believed the Terracotta Army was a purely symbolic force, a clay illusion meant to guard the emperor in the afterlife. But now, AI is hinting at something deeper. It's a blending of ritual, artistry, and practical military preparation. Which forces us to wonder, was the emperor's underground army more than just a metaphor? Could it have been a reflection of real regiments, mapped out and immortalized in clay? And that's what makes this so electrifying. Technology has peeled back layers of mystery, but with every answer comes a bigger question. What else could AI uncover if it keeps scanning?
Could it reveal hidden inscriptions under the clay? Or secret chambers still buried within the emperor's massive tomb complex? So, if scanning in 2025 could already prompt experts to rethink the story of the terracotta army, what might happen next could be even more shocking. The shocking discoveries that left experts speechless. Ari's scan did more than just rediscover statues. These discoveries unearthed disturbing secrets no one expected. What are these revelations? Picture this. The pits of Elevenin, silent for more than 2,000 years, suddenly illuminated not by archaeologists' torches but by the probing eye of artificial intelligence. What AI uncovered went beyond artistry, beyond symbolism, straight into the darker undercurrents of the empire that created them. And when the first results appeared on the screen, seasoned historians who had studied these warriors throughout their careers reportedly sat in stunned silence. The first shock came from beneath the surface of Pit 2. AI processing stitched together underground anomalies that traditional excavation had missed. These weren't natural voids or random soil gaps. They were architectural patterns. Hidden chambers. Rooms sealed so tightly that they remained undetected for decades. The scans showed corridors branching off from the main pit. It was as if the Emperor's grand project had extended far beyond the known soldiers. One scholar even described it as a city within a city. These discoveries are a chilling reminder that what we see above ground may only be the tip of the iceberg.